back and thank you so much for watching. For today's video, I have my first fall makeup look for you guys and it's going to be this look right here. I love the way this came out. It's just something about olive green and burgundy that I love for the fall. I think they just go so well together. So that's what I wanted to do for today's look. I really hope you guys enjoy. If you want to see how I got this look right here, then please keep watching. To start off this look, I'm priming my eyes with MAC Painterly Paint Pot. You can totally use a concealer for this step, but I was just feeling a little fancy today, so I used the paint pot. And then I'm just setting it with a translucent powder. For eyeshadow today, I'm using the NYX Perfect Filter Eyeshadow Palette, and this palette just screams fall to me. The shades are so folly, so pretty. So I'm picking up this light brown shade on a Sigma E40 blending brush and I'm blending that into my upper crease as my transition shade. Next I'm picking up this matte orange, so pretty, and I am blending that into the crease as well. Just blending it a little bit lower than the first shade that we added. Then I'm switching brushes and I'm using this Sigma E35 I believe. It's just a denser brush and I'm picking up the dark burgundy and I am adding that to the outer edges. So you want to just gradually build up this color and you want to start on the outer edges and then gradually bring it into the crease. And you can build this as much as you want, as deep as you want. And then I'm blending out the edges with my first blending brush. Next, I'm taking another NYX palette, and this is the NYX Full Throttle Palette. I think that's how you say it. Picking up this beautiful olive green shade, and this was really pigmented just on that first swipe without any fix plus. So I was really impressed. And I am adding the green only on the center of my lid, and I'm leaving the inner corner blank because I want to add another shade after. But to really merge the green and the burgundy together, I'm going back into that first palette and picking up that rustic shade on a pencil brush and I'm just kind of merging the green with the burgundy on the outer edges. I'm doing the same steps again with that rustic shade, just a different brush, I don't know why, but yeah, you just want to kind of merge the green and burgundy together. And I was kind of losing the green, so I added the green one more time which is okay, and then just blending it out with the E35. And then I'm picking up this cream shade for my brow bone. And then for the inner part of the eye, I'm going into the first palette and picking up that really pretty beige champagne color. It's not too white or anything, it's just perfect. Then I'm just gonna do a normal winged liner, pop on some lashes, and then we are gonna finish up the lower lash line. So lashes are on. Now to finish up the lower lash line, I am taking the dark burgundy on a flat definer brush and I'm smudging that really close to my lash root. And then I'm picking up that dark bronzy gold shade as well as the rustic shade on a blending brush and just smudging it out on the lower lash line. But then again, I also decided to pick up those same two shades on a pencil brush to really intensify it and then blend it out again. And this deep burgundy shade on your lower lash line is really gonna make your eyes pop, especially if you have brown eyes. And for my waterline, I'm using my Pixi Deep Plum Liner and it just ties everything together. It's such a deep plum color. I am just adding some mascara and this is my Maybelline Big Shot Mascara, as usual. And the eyes are done! And now I'm just touching up a little bit, making sure everything is deep enough, dark enough, and blended enough. Now moving on to the face, I am setting my contour with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. What's new? And I'm just hitting the same spots, the cheeks, the jawbone, jawline, 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 the jawline, and yeah, I'm contouring my nose as well. Because if I don't contour my nose, it just feels left out, you know? Like everything else is nice and bronzy and contoured, and then you don't have anything on the nose, so <laughs> gotta add something. 
For a highlight, I am using my Laura Geller Gilded Honey. I haven't used this highlight in so long, so yeah. For blush today, I am taking MAC Buff Blush. I love this blush. Whenever I'm doing a dark lip, I like to keep my blush very neutral and MAC Buff is my go-to. Now, for the lips, I am lining them with Vino Lip Liner from MAC. I wasn't really going for an ombre lip, not at all, but it kind of turned out to be an ombre lip and I really like the way it turned out. So yeah, for lipstick, I am using Kali Cosmetics and the Coco Collection um, Liquid Lipstick in Gorge. I think that's how you say it. But yeah, I really love the way the lips turned out, kind of ombre-ish. The Vino lip liner just made the outer edges very dark, plummy, and then we have the nice burgundy in the center, so it just looked really nice together, you know? So that completes this look, and I really hope you like it, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Okay, you guys, so that completes this fall makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed and liked this look that I came up with. I really like the way this turned out. I love the green on the eyes and then a burgundy lip. I think it just ties everything together. So I really hope you liked it. If you did, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up ignore this thumb right here and don't forget to subscribe i would love to have you here and i will see you all in the next one